Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to see one more interesting component of .NET Core Web API, which is Swagger. Swagger we used to documenting the REST API. Swagger, a open API, is a language agnostic specification for describing the REST API. It allows both computer and human to understand the capabilities of REST API without direct access to the source code. In a main goal, minimize the amount of work need to connect it to decouple the service and reduce the amount of up to documentation timing. Okay, it actually reduces the amount to create the documents manual documentation. So let's go to our Visual Studio and see how we can apply. So I'm using here Visual Studio 2022. I'm going to create a new project. So here I'm going to create a .NET Core Web API project. I'm giving here Swagger demo. I will keep this application in Google Drive and the and I will give the link on the video description so you can download this also. Click on next. So here you can see there is a open API support. If you add this one, so automatically it will add everything. Okay, but if there is any existing project, how we can add this open API support? So I don't need HTTPS, so I'm keeping checkout for now. This one, and I'm going to use controller, and I'm not going to use open API, I'm going to use manual here now. So let's create the application. So this is our application got created. Don't wasting any time. Let's hit the run button and see how the application is running. So you can see it directly going to this controller or this API and hitting our default template which is weather forecast service this is the model and this is the controller it is going to this and retrieving. But let's add one more controller here. Stop the application from running. Let's add one more controller here. So I am giving one more controller here. So Web API controller R. So here I am giving YouTube test controller. So I have added one more controller here, YouTube test controller, and one more get string here, just like the weather forecast, right? This is the get. So let's run the application and see the difference. So it's directly going to weather forecast. So if I go to my new controller, so I need to type the controller name, it will go, to, go directly get method. So my controller name is this one. Why? Okay, I need to give that one, right, HTTP get. I can give the route also, let's don't give route here, I'm giving route here. Get YouTube. So my route will be get YouTube now. 
so you can see now it is coming please subscribe to my youtube channel but if i go to this root there is nothing is there and there are maybe one or two api maybe multiple apis so if there is a big application a legacy application thousands of api so creating this documentation will be a headache so that's why we are going to use swagger so go to new get package new get package solution we need to add a new get package that is swas buckle this is the swas buckle we need to add this to our project guys in this project i am going to keep in the drive and give the link so don't worry you can check it out this code so it got okay it got installed now let's next task is go to the program.cs file because we are using .NET Core 6.0 here. Here you need to add builder dot services dot R swagger. To add R swagger gen. Before that, I need to add builder dot service dot R endpoint API explorer. Now come to the end of here. We are going to add app dot huge swagger ui right for that we want to use app dot huge swagger only we didn't conf configure anything we just added these two methods in the builder dot service art endpoint api explorer or swagger gen and in application dot run we have added swagger and swagger ui let's run the algorithm now So let's go to the host only. Still, it is not coming. So we need to configure our application to run some UI part. So in case of use Swagger UI, I am going to write use Swagger UI option endpoint. What is the endpoint? What is the version? And what is the document title? Next, the application now. I think we need to do one more step, but let's see. So this is the root URL. So you can see now it is coming. My API name and my schemas or my model name. Right. So we can see everything is coming now. We can do this thing also in inside our builder also. Let's see in the builder section how we can. In the builder section in R Swagger Gen, write like this builder dot service dot R Swagger Gen option option Swagger doc equal to version one. For the title, for the new Swagger document, what is the version one? What is the version? So here I am running the application. So you can see now it is coming fine also. But if I want to add some proper summary in my model, how I can add this? So stop the application from running. Go to the model. So here I am going to add. So temperature date. Temperature in centigrade or Celsius, temperature in Fahrenheit, and the temperature summary. Okay, let's run the application and see these properties are coming in the UI documentation or not. Or if it is not coming, we need to do some steps, extra spread. So these are not coming. So how we can do this? We need to go to stop this stop this programming. Go to the program.cs. Here we need to add some line. 
the Aswagarjan, I am going to write var file name equal to assembly dot get executive assembly dot get name. So it will come this particular swagger demo dot XML file. Okay. Next path dot combine dot file name. Then include then option dot include XML then file path. So here assembly we need to add system dot reflection. Okay. Now run the application. So before that stop the application and see the XML file is there or not containing folder so bin debug we don't have any xml file so definitely this is going to give error to me run the application so including the xml command we need to generate the project xml file so could not find the path right so this is error. we need to resolve this so how go to the solution explorer right click on the project go to the property section inside the general itself come down so you can see here something called generate a file containing api documentation okay save the application now build it the xml file is generated in that bean folder this one right my project name dot xml now run the application go to this model so you can see temperature dead temperature in celsius temperature in fahrenheit temperature in summary we have given this comment inside our model right so while creating the documentation also you can create documentation for your comment line or summary in this way we can implement swagger right if you like this video give me a like and share this video with your friends thank you very much